Hello scholars, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing multiplying decimals. At the grade 4 level, so it's not going to be too complicated, right? Now the thing to remember when you're multiplying decimals is that in the final answer, you're going to need to count all the decimal places in the multiplicand and the multiplier. That means all the decimal places at the top as well as if there are decimal places at the bottom, how many places to the right of the decimal point, you're going to need to put back that many decimal places in the final answer. You don't have to concern yourself about it while you're doing the multiplication in here, as I'll show you as we go along, but in your final answer, you need to put back all those decimal places Count all the places to the right at the top, in the top number and the bottom number, the multiplicand and the multiplier. And put that same amount in the answer. Other than that, we multiply as we normally would multiply without the decimal. Okay? So let's go there. So we have 30.6 and we are multiplying that by 5. So for these in the top row, the, num the multiplier, the number that we're multiplying by, has no decimal point. So we just have to put back the same number of decimal points that the multiplicand has, the number at the top. So 5 sixes are 30. 5 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. And 5 threes are 15. Now we have one decimal place in the multiplicand, so we're going to put back one decimal place to the right of the decimal point. And that's our answer, 153.0 or 153. 19.7 times 8, 8, 7, 56. 8, 9, 72 plus 5, 77. 8, 1, 8, and 7, 15. There's one decimal place, so we put back one decimal place. Alright? 50.51 times 3. 3 ones, 3, 3 fives, 15. Put the 5 down, put the 1 in the 1's place. 3 times 0 gives 0, and 0 plus 1 is 1. And 3 fives, 15. So, in the multiplicand, the number at the top, we have two decimal places to the right of the decimal point. We're going to put back one, two decimal places, so the decimal point goes there. 60.07 times 6. 6 times 7 is 42. We've got a 2 carry the 4. 600 zero, zero plus 4 is 4. Remember, it's not 6 fours. 6 times 0 gives 0, and then you add the 4. 6 times 0 is 0, and 6 times 6 is 36. So there are two decimal places at the top. We put back one, two decimal places in the answer. All right, now, well, these numbers that we're multiplying by here, they have decimal places. So remember, in the final answer, we're going to need to put one, two decimal places for this one. So we're going to multiply like we would normally multiply. Four ones, four. Four is 32. Four ones, four and three, seven. Four three is 12. Put our placeholder at the end and multiply now by the one. One times one is one. 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 3 is 3. And now when we add, so we don't have to fill in any decimal places here, right? Only the final answer. So when we add 4 plus 0, 2 plus 1, 7 plus 8, 2 plus 1 plus 1, and 3 plus 1. How many decimal places are we going to put? 1 here. 2 there, so that's 2. 1, 2, we count from the right. 2 decimal places. 9, 3 is 27. 9, 6 is 54 plus 2, 56. 9, 
nine one nine and five fourteen. Put our placeholder two three six. Two six is twelve. Two ones, two plus one, three. So that's seven, six and six, twelve. Four and two, six and one, seven, three and one, four. How many decimal places are we going to put in the answer? We have one from here, two from here. So that's two in all. One, two, and we put our decimal point there. 24.5 times 1.3. 3, 5 is 15. 3, 4 is 12 and 1, 13. 3, 2, 6 and 1, 7. Put our placeholder. 1 times 5. 1 times 4. 1 times 2. And now we add 5 plus 0 is 5. 3 plus 5, 8, 7 plus 4, 11, 2 plus 1, 3. And we have 1, 2, 2 decimal places. 1, 2, 2 decimal places in the final answer. You don't need to, you don't need to put the decimal points anywhere in here. When you get your final answer, then you count how many decimal places you had working with in both the top and the bottom put that total number of decimal places back in the final answer. So we have 70.7 .7 and we're multiplying that by 2.1. 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 7 is 7. Put our placeholder, 2 7 is 14, 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1 and 2 7 is 14. Now we add 7 plus 0, 0 plus 4, 7 plus 1, and we bring down our 14 because there's nothing there to add. How many decimal places in all we had? 1, 2. 1, 2. And we put our point there. Alright, so we have three more to go. We're multiplying 54.8 by 9.2. 2 8 16. 2 4 is 8 and 1 9. 2 5 is 10. Put our placeholder in the second row. 9 8 72. 9 4 is 36. Plus 3, 43. Sorry, 36 plus 7. 43, 9, 5 is 45, and 4, 49. So we have 6, 9 and 2, 11, 3 and 1, 4, 9 and 1, 10, 4 and 1, 5. So in the final answer, we're going to have 1, Two decimal places, right? One, two. All right, so now we're multiplying and we realize that we have one decimal place up here and two down here. That's three in all, so our answer is going to have three decimal places, right? Our answer will have three decimal places. 1 times 3, 1 times 0, 1 times 2, put our placeholder, 3, 3 is 9, 3 times 0 is 0, 3, 2, 6. And now we're going to add... So we have 3 plus 0, 0 plus 9, 2 plus 0, and 6. And we're going to put this time 3 decimal places because we have 1, 2, 3. 3 decimal places from the right. 1, 2, 3. So it's 6.293. 6.293.
have 74.9 and we're multiplying that by 2.8. So 8972, 84 is 32 plus 739, 87 is 56 plus 359, put our placeholder, 2 9 is 18, 2 4 is 8 and 1 9, 2 7 is 14, 2 plus 0 that's 2, 9 and 8 is 17, 9 and 9, 18 and 1, 19, 5 and 4, 9 and 1, 10, and 1 plus 1 is 2. How many decimal places do we have? 1, 2. So we come from the right, 1, 2 decimal places. So it's 209.72. Okay. Two hundred and nine point seven. We have one hundred and five point six times zero point nine one. All right. So we know our answer should have one, two, three decimal places. One times six is six. One times five, five. One times zero, zero. One times one, one. Put our placeholder. Nine six is fifty four. 9, 5 is 45 and 5, 50. 9 times 0 is 0 plus 5 is 5 and 9, 1 is 9. 6 plus 0 is 6. 5 plus 4 is 9. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 5 is 6. And we carry on the 9. So our final answer will have 1, 2, 3. 3 decimal places. One, two, three. Alright, so that's 96.096. Alright, so we have time for a couple more. I'm just going to put probably four more just for practice. So now we add up, we have 4, 8 plus 2, 10, 6 and 1, 7, and 2. How many decimal places are we going to put? We had 1, 2, 3 decimal places. Our answer must have 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay? Our answer must have 3 decimal places. Alright, so now we're multiplying. 5.167 by 8. 87 is 56. 86 is 48 plus 5, 53. 81 is 8 plus 5, 13. 85 is 40 and 141. So our final answer should have 1, 2, 3 decimal places since the 8. The 8 doesn't have any decimal place, so we don't need to count it, right? So it's just 1, 2, 3, counting from the right, 1, 2, 3. Alright, now we're multiplying by the 3, because we don't need to multiply by the 0, right? 3, 9 is 27, 3, 4 is 12, and 2, 14. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. So don't say 3 times 1. 
3 times 0 gives 0, plus 1, that's 1, and 3, 3 is 9. How many decimal places are we going to put in the answer? So we have 1 down here and 2 up there. That's 3 decimal places in all. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Alright, so let's work this one. 4, 7 is 28. 4, 1 is 4, 1, 2 6. 2, 7 is 14. 2, 1 is 2, 1, 1, 3. And we add 8 plus 0. 6 and 4, 10. 3 and 1, 4. So we have 1, 2 decimal places. So we put 1, 2, 4.08. Alright, 4.08. So that's it for multiplying decimals. We basically we multiply it the way we would normally multiply if the decimal point was not there. And in the final answer, we're going to count how many decimal places we were working with, both at the top and the bottom in all, how many places to the right of the decimal point. And we're going to put that back in the answer. That's the only difference really in um, whether multiplying whole numbers or multiplying decimals. Because you're going to do the steps like you would normally do if it was just whole numbers. right? So it's almost as if you're ignoring the decimal point for a while until you get to the final answer and then you count how many decimal places you were working with and put those back in. All right. So if you were helped by this video, please just comment to say thank you, miss. And please share the video so others can benefit from the information. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do videos on any particular topic. And I'll gladly do that for you. So my scholars, I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves.